Today on The Messy Garage, we're going to talk about an alternative to something like this. All right, not too long ago, I was working on my old BMW and yeah, I was replacing this with a cold start injector. And I was trying to get to these bolts, or these nuts actually. And, you know, I was really struggling because it's either I don't have the right angle, it's fouling on this, the throttle body, or hitting that or I also don't have a lot of clearance let me see if I can do this without like I don't have a great angle of attack with either side of this this wrench and it's so close to the body of the thing that I was frustrated and like I said no matter what direction I came from there's so much going on around here that I didn't have a good unimpeded access. And I tried a stubby. And A, it sort of solved the problem. I kind of get on it. But it was also kind of banging into the, the throttle body also. And not making a lot of progress. So I went to my drawer. So what I wound up with was a crow's foot on an extension with my ratchet and it gave me enough clearance so that I'm not gonna do a very good job of this but as I turned things I was able to avoid fouling on this and fouling on that and you know I had the access but this this was kind of funky so I figured there might be a better way so what I decided to try was this so these are the angle wrench set, obviously Icon, I've been an Icon guy lately. And it really gives you, you know, it, it's 30 and 60 degree uh, bends from the beam to give you angles that your normal wrenches don't. And, you know, some of these have a little bit more of a pivot, but basically it's another set of wrenches to give you angles that hopefully let you avoid having to do this. And boy, was I happy. I kind of bought this as a, I'd read a, a book uh, by a buddy of mine, uh, Rob Siegel, who uh, his flare nut wrenches really pulled him out of a tough position. And I thought, okay, I'm going to have that for when I need it. And when I did need it, it did definitely save my butt. That 10 millimeter and that extension with this ratchet got that nut off. But I'm hoping now uh, to have one more thing to try to use in bad situations like that. So with that said, let's get them out of the box uh, and uh, see if it works. All right, it's a lot of shine going on in the garage right now. Uh, package kind of like it's uh, Crow's foot buddies, no screw across the top, which I have to admit, it's sad that the, between just shipping and in-store theft, they've got to do this kind of thing. Oh, it's taped. All right, it's packaged very much like it's crow's foot buddies. Uh, it doesn't have the screwed in bar across the top. It does have the, uh, the insert, the cardboard underneath. But uh, yeah, so let's go all the way down. So this is at is 10 to 17. Kind of might have liked to have an 18 or 19 in there, but probably for something like that, it's not in that tight a space, hopefully. And I have other low profile solutions for that. So these kind of in this range is where I'm expecting to use these. So let's get a little 10 mil guy and go and see which one would be useful on my little weird space. So, so the 60 is not the, or that's yeah, the 30. Yeah, see I can get to the 30 here and be flat. I'm a little bit of an angle, but I'm not failing on that bar in as directly as I was. So I would be able to tighten that. It's actually, shockingly, 
uh, able to go behind this rail too. It's a relatively skinny face too. So this probably would have worked. And that's what I'm looking for is options. I mean, <clears throat> in in my garage, you know, I don't have another guy I can say, hey, lend me that tool you have or, you know, uh, until recently anyway, I was without a lot of additional options to try. And those things are showstoppers. I mean, something sits for the rest of the day sometimes or sometimes, you know, several days while I'm... Uh, either have time to go to some place like Harbor Freight or Home Depot or whatever, <clears throat> or get something in the mail. Um, so this is probably going to do it for my wrenches for a while. You know, there's all there's S shape wrenches and other stuff out there that would be handy. Getting the starter out of that car, it's tucked up under the uh, intake manifold in a way that's really tight. But I think between something like this and other things I have. Uh, I can do it now. And so, you know, I'm a guy that likes to have options handy as opposed to to be ordered, you know. And uh, these one sale, I did get them on a 25% off coupon, and that brings them into a zone where I feel like I can take out that insurance policy against lack of progress. So that's it. Quick, quick look uh, at the Icon angled open-end wrench set. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe and, and like the video if you liked it. And any suggestions you have on things you'd like to see, I'm happy to do it. Um, you know, Check out one of my toolbox tours, the full bank, for example. Lots of stuff in there. And uh, like I said, if you have questions, literally the reason I do this channel is to give some insight on what decisions I make and why, and maybe that'll help someone choose not to do something or choose to do something. So anyway, thanks again and stay messy. Here they are in their full bank home with their brothers.